hello guys today we are going to see about data factory so I'm going to show you tutorial on data factory data factory is a code field tool for creating some pipelines like two or more things or operations doing in the pipeline in an order like an automation so use create one pipeline save it and you can recursively call it and it will do its duty like it will do its operations and give you output i will show you one thing i have one resource group where i have created one container you can see there is one container test in which there is one folder a uh, file Relance.csv. We are going to copy it into another blob storage which is 1990. Here inside data container, I also have it. I will delete this one. Okay, so I have deleted now. It is only available in one this one 199, and we are going to copy it into 1990. So you can create a data factory so data factories you can create one for yourself I already have one so I'm just going to use this one so you click on here and you click on here open Azure data factory studio it will go on new tab it will open so <coughs> okay so there is one thing like uh, whenever you want to collect some data it goes under uh, you have to go in the author so here is a pipeline data set data flow data query so right now we are working on pipeline and data set so what is a data set data set is a um, data which you want to copy or um, you want to paste at so you have to create a data set so before creating the data set you have to create a linked service so linked service is a part which is which connects you to that specific data set so we are going to create new so our file is in azure blob store blob storage so we are just going to say blob and it came up azure blob storage this thing is the same yeah subscription blob storage name so our file is in 199 so this one uh, don't forget to give that some good naming convention so I'm going to say it's link service so ls underscore blob underscore input underscore file okay so the next one you have to just test the connection connection successful create it okay so input file is created so we want to also create for the output file because it contains the it requires the different blob storage right so again blob and here we will say ls underscore out underscore file okay ls underscore blob underscore output file subscription storage name here output file is 1990 test connection and create so our link services are created you can see them here these two we have to use those two to create a data set so here I will just right click and new data set here is the same blob storage data set contains in a blob storage it is a CSV file I showed you reliance.csv and 99 blob service test reliance.csv so delimited text 
link service our ls blob input file select that and now select your file test freelance.csv and first row is header yes and then next okay our data set has been created successfully okay you can give any good name like data set underscore reliance underscore input it is a reliance.csv file so i gave you a reliance you can give anything again new data set and this data set will be your output file you want to keep it in json or binary euro xml packet or csv anything you want i'm going with csv only so ls blob output file first row as header here we'll go into data and there is no file because we want to paste that file into here so okay and okay and here name data set underscore reliance underscore output data set okay save data sets has been created so we will go to pipeline now the main thing new pipeline so pipeline name pipeline name will be copy data blob okay and here you can see there are so many activities move and transfer we want to use copy data drag and drop copy data source you have to select source data set which is our data set reliance input source and sync data set reliance output okay so these are some extra things so file extension txt you can change this to csv some extra things we don't require right now and you can debug it debug means you're running the program let's see queue refresh once in progress yeah refresh once succeeded let's you can check the output here output data read data written okay so we will go here and <coughs> in one we will go inside a uh, blob storage one nine nine zero blob service data you can see that file is here you can see the file yeah perfect file got copied here easy peasy so there is one more thing you can do you can add uh, something before you can also add a if first condition I'll show you one tutorial like checking if the file already exists in here so if it exists you don't need to copy the file or else you copy the file so there is one thing I will show you uh, in general you can get the metadata so metadata you have okay so before this you have to check whether that file is exists or not so you will need a new data set new data set blob storage we are going to check for the same csv file right so we'll go here uh, link services we are going to check it with output file right we are going to check inside the output file so we will go
insert data okay okay name name should be file underscore exists so we are checking here file exists or not in this part right okay okay we hit okay so this is another data set we have got and uh, what we want to do actually here we actually need to create a parameter here yeah? we will need a parameter which will take a file name so we will give a file underscore name so before running it will ask us to enter a file name and we will enter the file name and here we will check that file name so you can see parameter file name so this is just a variable we set the parameter which is a variable we are using that variable here to check whether it exists or not okay so this is a data set file exists and here we entered that parameter so we will go again here in metadata settings we will select that file exists data set okay so as shown the file name value we will enter later okay <coughs> and there is one option field list this argument this argument we will select as exists so we will know if it exists at that path or not okay and just we'll do one thing we can connect it like that and we'll run only this part we won't run this so when we debug oh, let me debug okay 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 hey where is that copy data okay you leave you stay and you can debug no value passed okay parameter i can add a parameter so there is one thing it is okay if you are not passing the parameter here okay okay we will do by their their way so delete this insert the gate metadata you can pass the value here so we will take it as a or else you can give parameter here file name okay we will enter this parameter during the i'll show you during the execution and here you can add that file name and now we will debug and it is asking us for file name. this this was the thing i was looking for so reliance dot csv we are looking for and okay See here I have ticked this red box so it will run only this one this is a debug until so here refresh it is succeeded you can check the output exists is true file does exist okay so uh, keep in mind this exists okay so we can use one thing one more thing actually so we delete this arrow we can get if condition if condition just zoom out a little bit give them some space okay, if condition so get metadata connected to if condition and inside if condition the expression the expression will be get metadata's output 
dot exists dot exists which passes the true or false value okay so okay and you can see there are two arguments true or false so if it exists it is true then do nothing if it is false then copy the data we want to so we can cut this copy data and just this debug until erase that so you can access if condition go into false and paste the copy data here okay and to go back to here and now I will show you what will happen if you debug this code so if you debug it right now lines dot CSV okay MQ succeeded if condition also succeeded and program got terminated okay get metadata it gave true so there is no activity inside true now what we will do we will delete this this file from here and now we will debug it again okay Q get metadata successful if condition in progress copy data also successful because if condition actually why you saw the if condition in progress and copy data successful because all these operation inside the if conditions when these operations get completed then if condition will success okay you won't see if condition success then the copy data will start no 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 while if condition is in progress the operations inside this false condition will start when those operations will complete they will show success if condition will be still in progress and then if condition will say success okay so if condition will be the last one to success show the success succeeded status so now we deleted it so we can refresh and see our file here so this is a basic example you can create few complex pipelines using the same things or some extra things there are so many things the pin values delete execute pipeline ssis and store procedures sql databases you can use uh, for each condition for each switch cases filter so many things so many things machine learning things there are so many things you can use data breaks also there data like analytics also there so thank you for watching we'll catch you again later thank you